Good day, my name is Ian Joshua Omila Groza from BSC E4C. This video is a report for COMPE2, which is the Working Stress Design or WSD design problem. So we have here a problem or a subhole problem, which is um, design a rectangular beam for a three meter, three meter simple span to support a uniform live load of 50 kN per meter and a dead load including the estimated beam weight of 30 kN per meter. So using the following, so Fc prime is equal to 27.6 MPa, then Fs is equal to 276 MPa. So given the live load, which is 50 kN per meter, then dead load is equal to 30 kN per meter. Then we have here yung diameter ng steel bar, which is 16 mm. Then yung base natin, or yung width ng beam, which is one half ni uh, effective depth. So assume lang natin yon since hindi siya given. Then yung and or yung modular ratio natin is equal to 8. So, so solution. So, A is compute natin yung mga loadings. So, una natin isosolve is yung uh, uniformly distributed load, which is equal to live load plus dead load. So, given the following dun panina, so yung live load lang natin is adat sa dead load, which is... Um, 50 plus 30, so makukuha na natin yung uniformly distributed load natin na 80 kN per meter. So, so sa illustration yan, so we have here a simple beam na may length na 3 meter. Then, so uh, nag act yung uniformly distributed load na 80 kN per meter. So, so, kunin na naman natin yung moment ng beam na to. So, so, yung moment natin is based on shear and moment diagram, which is yung M max is equal to W L squared over 8. So, substitute lang natin yung mga nakuha natin. So, Yung W natin is equal to 80. Multiply natin sa length na 3 meters squared all over 8. So, makuha natin yung moment or maximum moment natin which is equal to 90 kilonewton meter or equals to 90 times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter. So, next is kunin naman natin yung WSB constant which is yung K and J. So for K is equal is equal yan sa FC all over FC plus the quotient of S FS over N. So where yung FC natin is equal to 0 0.5 FC prime. So this is for beams, dub, and footing. So kapag column naman yung hinahanap or yung given, so yung FC natin is equal yan sa 0 0.25 FC prime. So since beam yung uh, given natin na figure. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung 0 0.45 FC prime. So, yan. FC is equal to 0 0.45 FC prime. So, given yung FC prime natin na 27.6, so multiply natin yan sa may 0 0.45. So, makakuha natin yung FC natin na 12.42 MPa. So, since given naman na yung FS natin, which is 276 MPa, so hindi na natin siya kailangan solve. Pero if ever na um, hindi siya given, so uh, makukuha natin siya gamit yung dalawang to. So, FS is about to 0 0.50 FY. So, para to sa beam, slab, and footing. So, sa FS naman, naman is equal yan sa 0 0.50. 40 FY. So, yun yung per column natin. So, by substituting all the value dito sa may uh, given equation natin na K, so, makukuha natin yung value ni K na 0 0.265. So, for 
constant J naman. So, equal yan sa 1 minus 1 third ni K. So, J is equal to 1 minus 1 third ng 0 0.265. So, yung value ngayon natin ng constant J is equal to 0 0.912. So, punta naman tayo dito sa may analysis ng beam. So, makikita natin dito. So, ito. Yung beam natin, so may steel bar tayo dito. So, ito yung neutral axis natin, yung kulay blue na yan. Then, um, sa detail type ng period ng concrete, so nilalagnag na lang natin dito yung tensile part niya. So, bali, ang kukunin na lang natin dito is yung compression niya, which is ito. So, ililipat lang natin dito. Then, yung steel bar niya, which is ito. So, yan. Yeah, ililipat lang din natin dito. So, alam natin na yung base niya is D. Then, uh, itong side naman na to is equal yan sa C or yung KD. So, ito yung for original section. Then, pagdating naman dito sa may trans, uh, transform section, so, bali, uh, ikakapi lang natin tong uh, concrete natin dito then yung ito transform na lang natin is yung steel so bali magiging ganto na lang siya so ito yung b natin which is yung width so yung kd natin then uh itong ano na to is mas so dito sa uh, dito take note na kung N, kung NAS yan so bali dito sa stress diagram niya so naka divided siya so bali yan so eto is equal lang sa FS over N then uh, eto which is yung FC na ginamit nga natin kanina para sa beam is equal lang sa 0.45 uh, FC prime so yan so, bali dito sa may stress diagram, so dito, uh, dito natin makukuha lahat or yung mga forces na involved dito sa analysis na to. So, yung force na mag-act dito sa compression, dito, sa compression na to, so, uh, ito yung tinatawag nating CC. Then, yung mag-act naman dito, Ah, uh, dito. So ayan yung tinatawag nating T or yung tensile force which is equal yan sa FSN. Imo-multiply lang natin dito which is yung NAS. So bali yung tensile force natin is equal na yan sa FSAS kasi cancel out na lang yung N dito. So punta naman tayo dito sa CC. So makukuha natin tong value ni CC. Ah. Uh, eto makukuha natin itong value ni CC is equal yan sa area nitong triangle na to. So, area na triangle na to, multiply dito sa uh, dito sa side na concrete natin. So, alam natin na yung uh, area ng triangle is equal yan sa 1 half base times height which is yung uh, 0 0.45 FC prime, eto, multiply by KD, so eto yan, KD, then multiply lang natin dun sa may B. So yun, so yun yung maging value ni CC natin, or ni uh, compression uh, force. So, ngayon, uh, kunin naman natin yung moment dito. So, yan. Kapag nag-moment tayo dito. So, take note na yung uh, stress sa neutral axis. So, dito. Stress dito sa neutral axis is always equal yan sa my um, zero. So, yan. So, moment is equal yan sa, so ayan, moment. So ito, si CC, multiply natin sa moment arm niya, which is ito, JD. So, yeah, JD. So, yung moment ngayon is equal yan sa, so, si, well, in CC natin is yung one half 
multiply by 0 0.45 FC prime, multiply by KD, multiply by B, then multiply natin sa JD. So, ayan. Given tong mga value na to, which is yung na-compute natin kanina, so, substitute lang natin yung mga value. So, moment, which is 90 times 10 raised to 6, is equal yan sa 1 half ni 0 0.45 times 27.6 times 0 0.265 multiplied by D since hindi na unknown pa dito si effective depth. Then, multiply by uh, 1 half ni D then multiply by 0 0.912 D. So, makukuha natin na yung value ni D or ni effective depth is equal yan sa uh, 493.15 mm. So, say natin na 496 para divisible siya sa uh, 2. So, yun. So, may value na tayo ni D. Then, kunin naman natin yung width ng concrete or ng beam. So, ayan. So, dun kanina sa may given natin, so assume natin si B is equal lang sa 1 half ni D. So, B now is equal to 1 half multiplied by uh, 496 which is yung D natin. So, yung width natin na, or yung width ng beam natin or nung concrete natin na to is equal lang sa 200 48 mm. So, uh, next, kunin lang natin yung etong etong transform section na to. So, ilipat lang natin dito. So, ayan. So, by this analysis or using this uh, transform section, so, makukuha na natin uh, yung total numbers ng bar na gagamitin natin. So, bali magma-moment area na lang tayo about sa neutral axis which is dito. So, ayan. Moment tayo sa neutral axis. So, bali kunin lang natin yung uh, area nito then multiply natin sa moment arm na KD over 2. So, ayan. B, multiply lang natin sa KD. So, yung area nga ng concrete section na to. Then, multiply natin sa moment arm KD over 2. So, equals yan dito sa my NAS. Multiply by dito sa... So, ito. This minus KD. So, ayan. So, given na tong, or given na tong mga value natin kanina, yung mga iba na compute. So, Ayan, substitute lang natin. So, 248 times 0.265 times 496. Multiply natin sa quotient ni 0 0.265 times 496 divide 2. So, equals yan sa 8, which is yung modular ratio natin. Multiply by n times pi over 4 times 16 squared. So, yung diameter natin 16, kaya 16 squared. Multiply by 496 minus yung product ni 0 0.265 times 496. So, wherein yung n natin is number ng bars. So, uh, mula din sa equation na to, so makukuha natin na yung n or yung number ng bars natin is 3.65 pieces. So, let's say uh, 4 pieces. So, meron tayong 4 pieces ng 16 mm diameter bars. So, that's it for today. So, thank you.